Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime here. And um, one thing a lot of students don't realize is that you are going to face math on both your science and social studies tests. Now, usually most of that math is a branch of mathematics we call data analysis, uh, analyzing data. Think of like mean, median, mode, range, percents, increases, decreases, graphs, charts, patterns, that kind of stuff, data analysis. But one exception to that rule is a kind of problem we're going to look at today and for the next few days utilizing science formulas. So let's take a look. It says scientists compute the force of an object F by multiplying by the mass of the object M uh, by its acceleration A as shown below. Find the force in newtons of a 12.2 kilogram object accelerating at a rate of three meters per second squared. And they give us this formula. Now, the problem is that most students panic unnecessarily on a problem like this. It just looks so complex and complicated to them. They don't know what to do. But I cheer. Reason why I cheer is because I don't have to understand even very much of what I read because they gave me the formula. The formula tells you exactly what to do, even if you had trouble understanding that prompt there. So according to this formula, it says if you'd like to find F, and we said F stands for force. So if you'd like to find the force, then take the mass, M stands for mass, and multiply it by the acceleration. A stands for acceleration. So how did I know that that was multiplication? Uh, <clears throat> basically, if two symbols are just shoved together, uh, in this case, two letters, just shoved together with nothing between them in math, uh, they're, they're multiplying. That's what they're doing, okay? So right here, this says to find force, multiply the mass times the acceleration. So here's what I do. The first thing I always just do is copy down my formula. I'm going to do that as my first step, write that on my piece of paper or, or my screen. A dry erase board if I were doing this on the GED. Then I will go looking through my word problem for the things that I know, the numbers that I know. Right now I can't do anything with this because it just consists of three unknown numbers, an F, an M, and an A. Let's go find out what we do now. It says uh, find the force, find the force. So F is the thing we don't know, it's the thing we're finding, of a 12.2 kilogram object. Do you know what a kilogram is? Kilogram like pounds is kind of like pounds. It's kind of like weight. Um, but we refer to kilograms as mass. There is a slight distinction between mass and weight if you were going on to higher um, high school and college topics, you might need to talk about that. But for our purposes, weight, mass, same basic thing. So because 12.2 is a mass, I am going to plug it in under the letter M. I'm going to replace the M with 12.2 in the next line of my formula. This is called the substitution step. I'm substituting out letters for numbers. So I take out the M and I put in 12.2. Next thing I know, it says that my thing is accelerating at a rate of 3 meters per second squared. That means it has an acceleration of 3. Now careful, a lot of students want to take that unit and square the 3. No, meters per second squared is the unit. This little square here is not something to do to the 2. Um, and that can be confusing for students. Uh, they think, oh, i got to square the square the three. No, you don't need to square the three. Meters per second squared is the unit, the thing I'm looking at. And how many of those things are there? There's three of them. So three, uh, the acceleration is three. So I plug in A for three. And then notice, notice here that I put parentheses between these two numbers. Why? Because I want M and A to multiply. If for some reason I forgot the parentheses, let me just show you. Let's be the student, make the common student error who forgets the parentheses. Instead of telling you to take 12.2 times 3, I've now just told you 12.23, uh, which is not the same thing. So I'm going to put the parentheses here to mean times. Okay, and now you pick up your TI calculator and do the multiplication. If you had this on the GED, you would have your calculator. Now, if you're cool and can do this on your head or in your side work, um, that's awesome. But I get uh, 36.6. And you might say 36.6. What? Good question. Well, they told us. They told us we were going to find the force 
in newtons. So this answer here for us is in newtons. And you know, if you had a big chem background, you'd know uh, what a newton was. And uh, you, anyway, <laughs> We don't really need that for the GED. That's I'll save that for another lecture, okay? What I'm focusing on today is just using these formulas. So I copied down the formula, I substituted in the numbers I knew, and I did the work in my calculator, and it's really actually much simpler than it looks, 36.6 Newtons. Okay, so um, stay tuned for the next uh, four questions of the day. We're gonna be looking at this skill in more and more depth. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.